Flower Mound, Texas. Just drove up, five hour drive. Spend the night here at the truck stop. Parked on the far side. It's a little bit quieter back here, further away from the freeway. All the idling big rigs back there, their climate control. It's 85 degrees. I think it'll get down to 78 in another hour and a half, two hours. Shouldn't be too bad. It's about, uh, I think it's around 9.30 p.m. right now. The whole row of vans on the other side. I think I saw four, two, and then another two left. It's gonna park over there, but it's actually noisier because the highway 35 is on that side of the lots. And um, I got an end space here, a little grassy area. So I'm gonna chill with the door open for a little bit until it cools down. 76 degrees at 8.30 in the morning. I didn't really get comfortable till about midnight. So I, I find like 78, any above 78, I'm still not quite acclimated. I think I just gotta do more nights in the heat. But I got a 10 a.m. call, so I'm gonna go find breakfast and then meander my way to set. Went for the quick breakfast this morning. So now I got an extra 40 minutes, just hanging out in this loading dock. Five minutes from location i get the camera prepped for today's settings 29 97 38 40 21 60 long gop because i gotta upload the footage on sunday night when i get home um and uh s -Cine tone and then we're in a dental office i've worked in other not this practice but others and they're usually so confined for space that it's not cart friendly so i'm planning to work off the van hopefully we're ground level so based on that we're doing single camera interviews we've got two two different setups i'm just going to do a boom on a stand so i got my hypercardioid mic in here two xlrs headphones a spare camera battery and then i've got one road wireless go set up with a wired lav in case we got to do a walk and talk i'm just going to run my two newer leds one is a downlight backlight and the other as a key and generally we're in these small exam rooms so I get some nice bounce off the white walls as some passive fill I'm going to start there see how it looks and then we'll bring in some grip flags frames reflectors as needed and then since I get a little extra time this is for my shoot this weekend uh, I think I'm gonna be rolling it around in an arena so I wanna have my camera clipped in. So I have a small rig touch and go plate and I'm going to drill some holes in this mini size rock and roller cart. This is the R2. So I can have my camera clipped in and then I'm going to build, not for this weekend, but in the future, a single tripod hanger right here so I can run my sticks. Same mode as what I do here on my tool chest. You can see it's just a steel hook I knock together with my MIG welder. Um, I think the sticks are actually higher than this, so I've got to build some kind of bracket to build it up. Anyway, that'll be coming up in the future. Washer and lock washer, those are three quarter inch long, one quarter 20 bolts. There's the plate. This is my complaint, my one, my issue with this style tie down is the locking lever gets trapped behind the camera plate. So I got home last night from Corpus Christi, sit down in my recliner, elevate my feet and my phone rings. And it was get in the truck, drive to McAllen, how many days can you work? So here I am, McAllen, Texas. I'm so pissed. I was sitting there in my recliner like, I got to find a hotel for tomorrow, clicking around. Nothing's available. I booked this place, this Hilton. I ended up in a two bedroom suite. And uh, this isn't the room I booked because in my tiredness and rushing, I booked the rooms for next month, same dates, not the next day. Which is so irritating. Freaking websites when they do the scheduling thing and they pull up. Same with the airline tickets. Like, start your availability for 
right now, not some point in the future, a month from now, and non-refundable. So I burned myself. I, it cost me $350 that I got to eat. And then uh, I, gotta, I had to pay again at the desk for tonight. And uh, it was, I think it was it's like 450 or something for two nights. And this was the only room they had available. So I guess that's just, I don't know. I'm mad at myself because I'm tired, but really it's just the cost of, cost of doing business. Also going to give you the audio for the Q&A section. This is the microphone from the audience. No podium again? Are you guys good? He's giving you a mic check with the Q&A for the audience. Audience microphone. We have two other mics. Are you all good? Other audience microphone. Mic number two. Audience mic number two. Okay. Levels are good. Levels are good. Everyone thumbs up. All right. Go on quiet. That's like a once you get hired, short of really screwing up, you're in. Important to note, while of course we are preparing for the end of Title 42, based on the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's decision, that it will end on May 23rd. That does not mean that the border is open beginning on May 23rd. We continue to enforce the laws of this country. We continue to remove individuals who do not qualify for the law. Well, we're doing live shots top of each hour. We did the four o'clock. We actually had kind of a double length segment. Two different stories in one back to back. It's 92 degrees Fahrenheit. My truck is covered in bugs. All the driving I've been doing the last couple weeks. I mean, you can see in the mirror there. Yeah, let's flip around. Got my camera set up at this intersection. We got a view of one of the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol facilities in the background. Just got a boom mic and a table set up for correspondent. Sunlight's kind of like left side. It's right up there behind the sign. Oh, above the sign. Uh, I need some fill. It's way too windy for a bounce card or a silk. So I think what I'm going to try right now is set up one Gemini as a front fill. And I'm going to run it off my new power inverter on the van. I just flipped my van around so the engine's facing the other direction. I'm gonna see if I can leave the engine running. I think I can, it's so loud out there. But even if I can't, the house bank will be able to support that Gemini for a few minutes during our hits. No, but when you say a world of hurt, I mean, what does that look like for your community? Well, one of the first things, one of the most important things for us is public safety. Okay, we take no position as far as the immigration, the immigrants, whether they're here legal or illegal. Oh, my 
my gosh, the wind noise. All right, well, that's a wrap for me and McAllen. My replacement has arrived. I took a nap in the van, even though it was 90 degrees. I think it's 1700. I started at uh, 0500, and now I've got an eight hour drive to Fort Worth. But my call time is 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get halfway, which is my house, sleep in my own bed, and then uh, carry on 5.30 p.m. call tomorrow. So I'll be able to sleep in, go to the gym, and then drive up there.